tourism experts say the bushfire crisis has already cost the nation $2 billion and it could wipe a further $4.5 billion from the industry in the near future. What's going on at the moment is crazy. And today's vlog was going to be about uh, working hard to save for travel. It was going to be the first time I took you guys into my world, into my office, into what I do for a living, so you can see how I make money to save for traveling or for vlogging equipment. But then something happened in the office today and it made me see how much the travel industry is being affected by the Australian bushfires and by the new coronavirus. So we're going to talk about that, but the first Let's start at the beginning. Oh, thank God, knocked off work. And I wanna to talk to you guys about something because I was going to make today's vlog uh, about working and saving to travel, uh, which is what I do at my day job. I'm in the travel industry, but then something happened today because of the uh, Australian bushfires and coronavirus and all this other craziness going on around the world and around the country. So I wanted to, to talk a little bit about how that's affecting Australian tourism I'm seeing it in my office and I'm sure other people are, are seeing it in theirs. Sick car. Always see nice cars on the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast is of course uh, one of Australia's biggest and hottest tourist destinations. The country itself has had a great solid tourism industry for quite some time. And the Australian bushfires had a reported impact of, of $5 billion of tourism lost just in the last few months uh, projected over the next year or two. We had about 50 bookings from uh, Chinese tourists. Out of 50 bookings in our beautiful resort, we had about 40 cancellations today. And you know, I get it. It's, it's scary times. And when things like that are happening, of course you wanna, you wanna cancel your trip. So at the end of the day, it's safe. Uh, especially major cities like the Gold Coast and, and Sydney, they're safe. There's absolutely nothing to be, to be worried about or be stressing about, but I do understand. A little bit of air pollution, uh, a scary virus going around the world, but it, this isn't, it's not an epicenter. It's not, it's not the end of the world. I think people are being over paranoid when they don't want to travel. I completely agree with travel restrictions being placed around coronavirus, I think pandemics like that are really, really important to keep an eye on. But we're also getting quite a lot of cancellations due to the bushfires and, and people's concern about traveling. Now the bushfires are really more of a rural problem and it's a, it's a big problem, it's a bad one that we all have to be mindful of and helpful for. But you certainly shouldn't be concerned if you're traveling to major cities, there's no airport closures. And so long as you're not driving rural roads, you're gonna be more than okay. Now, in saying all of that, it is extremely important to stay vigilant and be aware of what's happening when you're traveling. And these kind of issues like the bushfires are unprecedented. They're an absolute tragedy. So for anyone who happens to watch this vlog, I'm not asking for subscribers. I'm just asking for you to donate in the link below. This video will probably get no donations. It may get one, it may get two, whatever absolutely helps. We donated ourselves, and we think it's an extremely important thing to do. Um, as for coronavirus, I guess we'll see 
how that develops. I don't usually talk about current events in my vlogs, but after what happened in the office today, I felt it worth talking about and, and that I should at least touch on the subject or mention it. So thank you for sticking around and don't forget to, to hit that link. We'll catch you in the next place. Oh,